Hello, I'm Stephen Briggs, Soil and Water Manager at the Innovation for Agriculture. This is a series of six videos as part of the Learning from Your Land collection. The aim of these series of films is to improve your practical understanding of soil health and the life beneath your feet. From watching these, farmers should be able to undertake simple tests on your own soils on your own farms. We hope this should help you improve your soil management. Well, my name is Matthew Shepherd, and I am a soil biology specialist for Natural England. We're here at Bixton College and we're going to be looking at a few tests that you can do on your soil to explore what lives in the soil and how that affects the soil properties and soil health. There are literally billions of organisms, and many of them are tiny microorganisms that we can't see. However, some of them, the smallest ones that you can actually see, we call soil mesofauna, and the range of different animals that you get in different soils can tell you things about how that soil is functioning, about how rapidly the nutrients turn over, about the sort of materials that are going into that soil, and also about how disturbed the soil is as well. We gather a handful of soil, pop it into the sieve, and then quite rapidly, just lift it over the tray and sieve. So having sieved the soil onto this tray, I'm now looking for any movement at all. I'm just going to pop this end in my mouth, and straw end in the mouth, pop this end next to a bug and one sharp suck and the bug is now in that chamber. And we can keep doing that and collecting a wide variety of different animals from the tray. A couple of sharp taps on the table and they'll all be sat down there and then we'll be able to tip them in and then very quickly replace the lid. So there they are now inside the Tetri dish. We can get that under a microscope and have a look and see what we've caught. Now that we've captured our creatures, we're going to look at them under the microscope. Um, the microscope that I've got here is a very small and actually very cheap one. What I'm going to do is pop them here on the stage of the microscope. It's got focusing knobs here, two eyepieces, which means you can actually see the image in 3D. And I've also got myself a cheap, flexible LED light, which really helps with the lighting. This microscope does come with a light of its own, but this is a good deal brighter and makes it a, a good deal easier to see them. And then it's simply a question of making sure that your eyepieces are well adjusted enough for your own eyes, focusing onto the bottom of your petri dish with the lid still on it, and there, you can actually see some of the creatures. For the most part, the creatures that will come out of soil will be springtails or mites. So we have a lot of large creatures, and indeed a lot of um, large predators that are hunting these creatures as well. And that means that there's quite a rapid nutrient turnover in your soils, and that means nutrients are becoming available to plants quite quickly as well. On the other hand, if you're getting a lot of mites, you may discover that some of them are actually these sort of dark brown, rather well-armoured mites and they have really very sort of crunchy creatures, I suppose, if you like. And these ones are very much more associated with tougher materials, so very slow nutrient turnover. They'd be more commonly found in forests or in heathlands or in very old grasslands where actually there's less nutrient available and the turnover of that nutrient and the availability to plants is much slower and much less. So the balance of those two creatures, the, the large so the squashy springtails and the hard crunchy mites is quite a good indicator of the balance of nutrient turnover. 